in answer to your question is that life's too short. I don't believe in this bullshit life after death stuff, right? This is it. This is all we got. Do not waste your youth on stuff that you're not happy with. Yeah. Now, now there's, but there's a couple of things you can do. So if you're doing work that's boring, at least do it in an industry that's exciting. So if you're going to be an accountant, at least do it in an, in, in an industry that excites you. It might be fashion. It might be construction. It might be entrepreneurship. Mm. I don't know. But you will get, you will get that Gary Vanian Chuck feeling from the industry that you work in, even yeah. though your work that you do is not that exciting. Yeah. So you don't have to completely change your whole life. Mm. Just just focus in an industry. It might be the horse racing industry. Again, the fashion industry. Who knows? Sporting industry. Mm. Do your boring job in an industry that excites you, and that's where you're going to get your self esteem from. That's where you're going to get your energy from. Yeah, yeah. It's such a topic close to my heart when you talk about don't waste your youth, right? Oh. Something I think is tragic at universities. You see these kids you know like my age and stuff and they're already resigned they like they yeah. feel like they've given up in life so it's um i mean what i if, if i can ask how old are you i'm 53 you're 53 you're 53 yeah. and i feel like in a day you probably do more in a week you probably do more than most of my class does in like a week and even yeah. just the amount of energy you bring it's yeah inspirational so thanks so much yeah that's okay and, yeah. On <laughs> but, and, and let me just say about the wasting of the youth, and this is this is um, very relevant for international students, and I don't find this as much with local kids. They're living their parents' dream. Mm -hmm. Like they want to go to these big corporates because that's what their parents want. Mm. So I say to them and to their parents, am I allowed to swear on this thing? <laughs> um, like, let's just no. say, yeah. No. Oh, okay. I, I would say- You did it, you did it earlier. <laughs> They've, 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 had, they've had their go. They've had their life. Mm. Don't force your kids to do crap that you wanted or couldn't do or did in mm. your life. Mm. Let your kids live their own life. I had this beautiful young lady that came from um, Timor-Leste, and you could see that she was alternative looking in that you know, her hair was dyed a billion colours and crazy dress and whatever. She was doing commerce. And I just said to her, so I'm sorry, but you just don't look like a commerce student to me. She says, I know my parents want me to do commerce. I want to do interior design. She started crying. And I said, to her, have you told your parents? And, and this is a true story. She rang her parents that night and said, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to do interior design. And she swapped from commerce at RMIT to interior design. And now she's really happy. Wow. Don't live your parents' life. They've had their go. Mm. So that's, that, yeah, it's their problem. Yeah. In this day and age, yeah. you don't need to. And don't waste your youth because you only have it once. That's, that's beautiful. Mm. Uh, again, if I can ask, so this attitude that you've got now, did you ever have to butt heads with your parents about your path? Yeah. Uh, to be totally honest, my mum still thinks I'm a failure because I haven't had the, um, I haven't had, you know, the solid job for all of my life. And, and with 18 businesses, nine were rubbish and I shut them down. Mm. Um, but nine have been great and I've sold them. Mm. Like, well, or the other nine, or I'm either continuing them or sold them all for over 100 grand. But, you know, it didn't fit with her reality of what success is. And her reality was working for IBM for 25 years and getting a gold watch. Mm. That doesn't fit with my reality. And because in one of my ventures, I dropped a million bucks cash, you know, that, that was like a huge disgrace to her. But for me, I, I, took the, I took the punt that if, it had a, if I had a pulled it off, I would have got 12 million. Mm. And so I lost a million. Yeah. It was a risk I took at the time. So I have no regrets. Mm. My, my, my regrets are only, you know, if I, you know, I make the best decision with the information I have at the time. So hence, uh, and I'm not worried about what other people think. So I don't have any regrets in life. I sleep well at night. Mm. Um, it's, it's only when, I don't do something for a stupid reason, like what parents think that, that mm -hmm. I'll regret. And, and the most, the unhappiest people that I've met are old people that regret not doing stuff. Yeah. So don't be that. Old. Yeah. Have you, can you point to any, any thing in particular that's given you that 
strength because that is a real strength you know i think especially for you know us like look at me i'm asian right i get the yeah. like what what the family you know we, we, we grow up to become lawyers, doctors, not because that's what our heart says. It's because what the, <laughs> what the, um, yeah. the people in the back are, are egging us on to do. And it can feel, it can feel like so traumatic to want to go up to a parent yeah. and say, Hey, I want to travel around the world. Hey, I want to do arts. I want to have an alternative career. It's like, how, how how is there anything in your life you can point to that's given you this this character um i, I think being very honest early kind you kind of build it kind of builds that strength mm. and and i think look your parents love you and and every asian kid i've met your parents love you they want the best for you and they think they're doing the best for you but i think that if you can have that honest conversation with them just to say hey look I really don't want to do engineering. I hate math. Mm. I, I don't like it. I want to be an entrepreneur. I want to be something different. It, and, and remember too that um, the jobs of the future are not the jobs of the past. Mm -hmm. I, like no one needs, no one needs accountants anymore. We've got software to do that stuff. We don't need as many doctors anymore. Soon you'll plug your finger into, the, into um, some kind of Google thing and it will tell you exactly what's wrong with you. And we just don't need these people anymore. Mm. And so hence, it's maybe a little bit of education on your parents' part to say that the world's changed and the, and the jobs of the past are not the jobs of the future. Mm. And maybe sit down with them and Google jobs of the future and just show them what the world's like. It's the answer, education is the answer to everything. Mm. And you've got to make them visible, visible to them because they do, they do it because they love you. Mm. And so you just got to have that conversation to yeah. say that, you know, but this is what I want to do. And then I think it'll be fine because mm. most people are reasonable. Yeah. Education is the passport of the future. Malcolm X, he yeah. knew things. Wise man, <laughs> personal yeah. hero. Yeah. So moving into the future now, what do you see as, let's say you are one of these people and someone's listening, they're like, Dominic Saporito, by the way, I love your name. <laughs> and I've got a story for you. I've got a story for you off of this. <laughs> okay, it means tasty in Italian. Tasty? Yeah. Oh, that makes so, it so much better. I'll so tell you the story so quickly because it just makes me <laughs> laugh. I was like researching this. I was looking at your name. I thought, Saporito, Saporito. How do I pronounce this? I look it up. I say, how do you pronounce Saporito? And it's this like AI generated robot name. And it's like silent for 10 seconds. Then this little Italian voice comes on. AI generated. It says, Saporito. <laughs> that's pretty good uh, yeah yeah and every time i hear your name i can't hear it without hearing this little ai <laughs> voice Dominique Saporito. i think the, the japanese love it because they kind of think it's uh, japanese saporito -san. Ah, saporito -san. <laughs> did i give did I offer, did they offer you a saporito saporito san yeah because ah. it because supporter is flavorsome oh <laughs> right so that's where it comes from would you describe oh, yeah. yourself as a tasty man? <laughs> I think I am. I think I am. I think people would agree with you. I, I think so. I think this is a... This, anyway, <laughs> so, <laughs> skills of the future. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. There's a somebody, and this person exists. They're watching this, and they're hearing this message about, hey, I've actually got to live my own life. But they yeah. feel like, look... Dom, I don't have any skills and I feel like I'm, or I've developed the skills of yesterday, right? They're, they're yeah. turning to become the accounts. They're becoming the, yeah. they're looking for that nine to five. Yeah. What advice would you give them? How, how should well, they shoot into the modern world? Remember, I, I, I deal with this every day and, and the people, the bravest people I know are people that have done the five years of architecture and suddenly realize that they hate it. Mm. What do you do now? 